Ever think about how a movie made with like almost no money, shot on basically a home video camera, became one of the most talked about horror movies ever? Like, what was it about the Blair Witch Project that got under our skin? Ah, uh, the Blair Witch Project, a true enigma. You've provided some fascinating academic articles on it, even some deep Wikipedia dives. It should be interesting. It really is something else. I mean, huh. Blair Witch basically invented found footage horror as we know it. And to think, it made over $200 million mm. on a shoestring budget. It's a total outlier. It really is. You know, back in 99, audiences were used to a certain, well, glossiness in their horror films. Big budgets, big effects. The Blair Witch Project flipped the script completely. Yeah, I was like watching something you weren't supposed to see. Exactly. Myrick and Sanchez, the filmmakers, they understood that primal fear. No fancy cuts, no music cues, just raw, visceral terror. And it totally worked. People were terrified. It's funny, though. They were huge Kubrick fans, but instead of those long, smooth shots, they went the complete opposite direction. Right. They wanted to put you right there in the action, make you feel every panicked breath. If Kubrick used steadiness to create unease, Myrick and Sanchez used chaos. And it's effective. I remember people getting sick in theaters because of how shaky the camera was. That just shows how they broke down that barrier between the viewer and the screen. You weren't just watching a movie, you were experiencing it. And that made all the yeah. difference. And the way they made it talk about intense method filmmaking, wasn't that what they called it? Yeah, Myrick talked about stripping filmmaking down to its core. And the actors, too. No trailers, no script, just thrown into the woods. Right. They were immersed in that Blair Witch mythology. Alone. Isolated. Like method acting. But in the middle of nowhere, did they even have a script? Or were they just told, go be scared? It was a balancing act, really. A lot of improvisation, sure. But the filmmakers had a plan. They scouted locations, planted clues, even used GPS to guide them. All from a distance, of course. Like a spooky scavenger hunt. Only what they found wasn't exactly treasure, and those milk crates with supplies hidden in the woods. Such a brilliant detail. A constant reminder. Someone is watching. Always a step ahead. Creepy. Especially those stick figures. The actors didn't know about those beforehand, right? Not a clue. A stroke of genius, really? Pure psychological pressure? But it does make you wonder about the ethics of it all. How far is too far? Yeah, where's the line? It's a debate that never really goes away, especially with things like reality TV. The Blair Witch Project wasn't the first to use these techniques, but it brought those questions back to the forefront. Consent, manipulation, what's the price of authenticity? It's a tough one. The film's incredible and the acting is so real, like yeah. that nightmare you can't escape. And that's the brilliance of it. Fiction, reality, completely blurred. And that lingering unease, it sticks with you. But beyond the filmmaking, think about how it exploded in the public consciousness. A true phenomenon. Right. From a $40,000 film to a $200 million giant, how did they pull that off? It was perfect timing, really. <laughs> the Blair Witch Project and the internet. Meant to uh, be. So smart with that Is It Real mystery, that website, like a real missing persons case, mm. and those fake news reels. Genius. <gasps> Pure genius. They knew exactly what they were doing, tapping into that online culture. The internet was made for speculation, especially for younger audiences. And it totally worked. Everyone was talking about it. Remember the debates about whether the Blair Witch was real? It's crazy. Even today, people still argue about it. Some find it terrifying. Others, well, not so much. It's really interesting how differently people react to it. That's the thing about impactful art, though, isn't it? It evokes something. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, that minimalist style, the lack of jump scares, but you can't deny its impact. Love it or hate it, the Blair Witch Project changed things. You're right, and you had critics like Roger Ebert calling it extraordinarily effective, and then others who just didn't get it. Ebert understood it. He got that the film's power came from tapping into those primal fears, the unseen, the unknown, those fears that linger. It's that unshakable feeling that something's not right, that something's hiding just out of sight. The Blair Witch Project captured that perfectly, and its influence on horror, I mean, it basically created found footage as we know it. Think Paranormal Activity, Cloverfield, they all owe something to Blair Witch. Absolutely. It proved you don't need a huge budget to scare people. Sometimes, the simplest stories, told well, are the most effective. This whole deep dive has been amazing. So, as we wrap up, it seems clear, the Blair Witch Project was a game changer. Innovative filmmaking, incredible acting, and a marketing campaign unlike anything else. It's a film that s still gets people talking, even today. What do you think, after all this? Does a film like this, with its reliance on suggestion and what we don't see, still have that power in today's world? 
That's the question, isn't it? In our world of CGI and jump scares, can a film that relies on the power of suggestion still frighten us? Or have we become too desensitized? Something to think about. Definitely something to ponder. Until next time, deep divers. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of the Blair Witch Project Sweet Dream.